With a uh, like score draw one. <laughs> Yes, guys, welcome back to another trip to thrift. We've got a few bits here that I found at the car boot. I'm going to show you some clips of me finding all this lot, and then we're going to come back here and go through everything that I found. As always, like the video, subscribe if you're new here, follow my Instagram and my Depop down there at the bottom of the screen at Ryan's Finds, Arch on the F on the S, and also follow the wholesale Instagram, I'm seeing Henry Wholesale, if you're interested in buying secondhand clothing in bulk. And I think that's it. Make sure to watch my previous video if you haven't already. I'll put it in one of the corners, and we'll get into the clips now. It is getting a bit rough out there. Peace. You got pickle tops? Uh, yeah. Have you got I've got, uh... Have you got a few of them? No, no, not. I've got a Chelsea one. Uh, Pink. a Gerard signed one. That's got these... I seem to have one of that. The only other one I've got is a, uh, like, score draw one. <laughs> uh... I'll say this guy was fanatical Gerard, so I'd be very yeah. surprised if it weren't. Bandy as well. Oh, that's um, busted, I think. Is it busted? <laughs> Tour one. I found these in my drawing room. That's, I know that's quite a rare Chelsea one. That's a way one they didn't wear very often, that one. Uh, How much do you want on the top? I'd try to get 15 for that. That's a tenner. Tenner. But the Chelsea one. Yeah, so these are just. I found a couple of scarves in there. Oh, I don't want scarves nah. anymore. No one wants scarves these days. Yeah. I think they're all in good nick. Yeah. I think they were. What, so what were the prices? What are the prices you're asking? Uh, I like 25 for that. 25. Uh, I can do that. I'll do them to a tenner each if you take the other. If them, you take them. 45. Oh, a uh, fiver for that. That's the one. Do I need it? They'll be back in a bit now, yeah. don't they? Like yeah, they're coming back, I think. I'll leave that one for now. All right. Uh, 25. What would you say then? Uh, I'll do them to, to, to 20. 45 for the lot. 45 for the lot. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> How much is that one? On that one. How much is that one? That's some nice, some nice coats up there. A nice How much, on, how much is that one? Fits. I found so many of these. Three quid will do, mate. Three quid. I don't know what's in the pocket. Fill this up nice in the pocket. That's probably a shitty tissue. Mate, I can remember the days we used to throw them in the bin. Now we're like, whoa, overall. Oh, yeah. The thing is, you walk around London and you see a girl in a set of overalls. And they just stab you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Thank you very much. I've got the 
bigger one, I'll give six seven five. Let's have a look at the other one. I can only give you a full deal for that uh, four pigs for that show. Sorry? Yeah. How much is the hoodie? We are back, let's go through everything that I found. We'll get this one out of the way just because it's annoying me. I don't know why I bought it. Uh, I think it was five or six pounds. It is from 1996 and it is a cardboard cutout of Darth Vader. I'm guessing it's from a cinema, but I'm not gonna keep this at home. I'm gonna take this to work and put it in the hand pick there. There's his bottom half. It is huge, I think it's taller than me. Getting into the clothing, first we've got this vintage barber, made in UK, 90s V-neck wool jumper. That was a lot of words. There's the tag, that was five pound from a house clearance guy. Should get around 20 to 25 pound on that. Then we got this absolutely battered t-shirt. Look at the condition of that. That was 50p, it's a Guinness one, just a graphic there and then that on the back. As I said, it's pretty rough out there, so I'm buying stuff like this. It needs a good soak, or it needs to be dyed into like a black or like a brown. Can't be a good vintage Guinness t-shirt. Then we got another classic. I think I found four or five of these this year so far. It is an English workwear sort of chore jacket. Nicely distressed and painted on there. I got it from a house clearance guy from a midweek car boot. Paid three pound for it. And I think these go for around 40 to 50 pound. Then we've got this quilted Burberry jacket. It's got a little bit of paint down the arm, which is a little bit annoying. I think this is the only thing that I bought from one car boot. So I just had to buy something. It's just a quilted jacket with the classic Novacek lining on the inside. That's an early 2000s tag, the nice blue one. If that was in really good condition, I reckon that's like a maybe 40 to 60 pound jacket. Realistically, with the paint on it, I reckon that's like 20 to 30 pound. Nothing crazy on that. Then we've got the regret of the video. This is a 90s, I think it's 90s, might be 80s. Made in USA, varsity style jacket. Got that on the front there. Nothing on the back. I think I paid... 15 or 20 pound from that. It was from a dealer, so you're obviously gonna pay up a little bit, but just shouldn't have bought it, just because I don't need it. It's not that cool, it is red as well. Everyone hates red online most of the time. I'm not too sure if I'll even make too much money on that. Maybe like 30 pounds. Obviously I'll try and aim a little bit higher, but most likely I will take the first offer that comes my way. Then we've got a standard zip up Ralph Lauren hoodie. Classic logo there, early 2000s tag again. That was, I think two pounds. It's a little bit yellowed. It just needs a good soak and a good wash and that should be fine. Should get around 20 to 25 pound, I think, on Depop for that one. Another bit of a rogue one, vintage Fajal Raven Gore-Tex jacket. This was five pound. I think it was from a Saturday car boot from a house clearance. It's got the logo there on the arm. Gore-Tex Fajal Raven. Probably more of an eBay item, I'm gonna guess maybe 25 to 40 pounds. I'll put any listings there that I can find. Uh, I don't think they go for crazy money, but I could be wrong. This is a nice one to find. Early 2000s vintage Nike hoodie. Really good embroidered spell out. I haven't found too many spell outs this year. Just got one mark somewhere. I think it's there on the camera. That was, I think two pound from a Saturday car boot. It was just from a random couple. I think the car boot had been going for like an hour and a half. So it was quite nice to find that just sort of 
laying there on the floor. If I can get that mark out, hopefully that's like a 30 to 40 pound item. And finally, we have some more football shirts. As I said earlier in the video, go watch my last one. These are all from the same guy from that last video. First, we've got this Liverpool 2003 home shirt with that embroidery on the front there. And it's got the Premier League badges on the arm. I'll put some listings there on the side of the screen for this one. I think I paid 20 pound for it. So probably not too much money in it, but you just got to keep them happy. These three I bought together, I paid £45 for them. First, we've got the West Ham 2022 home shirt. I reckon that's around 20 to £30, that shirt. Then we've got the Chelsea 2011 third shirt, I believe this one is. This one actually goes for really good money. I think I'll get all my money back from this one alone. I think it goes for around £40 to £50 on eBay. Finally, we have got the last item. It is the 2004 Liverpool European home shirt. It's got a name set and it is signed by... Steven Gerrard there on the number eight. Got the Champions League badges on the arm there. Obviously, I got this from a car boot. Got it from a dealer. He bought all these Liverpool shirts from a die-hard Liverpool fan. I think he had like 60 shirts. Unfortunately, there's no certificate of authenticity on the signature. I believe it is real. I'm not too sure what that'll go for. I'll put any listings there of other signed shirts or memorabilia that I can find. That is it for this video, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new here. Follow my Instagram and my Depop where I sell all these items. Down there at the bottom of the screen, Ryan's Finds, Arch on the S, F on the S. Follow the wholesale Instagram. I'm seeing Henry also again down there at the bottom of the screen. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Peace. Of this one. I'll put some listings there on the side of the screen for you. For you. For you. These three. These three, and these, oh my God. That is it for this video, got down there at the bottom of the screen. I don't know what that was. All these items. Down there at the bottom of the screen, Ryan's fine.